Once upon a time, in a small town, which shall be nameless, there was a boy, a girl, and some assorted parents. Now, in this town, there was a mayor. One day, the mayor decided he'd like a quiet cup of coffee. I'd like a quiet cup of coffee. He called a meeting of the town council, men dedicated to the principles of democratic action. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. We are gathered here... We are gathered here to consider a matter of grave importance to the governing of our fair community. The teenagers of this new town are disrupting its peace, its serenity, its calm and graceful dignity with the wild, the furious, the frantic music which they play constantly. Read that back, Miss Hampton. Read that back, Miss Hampton. Miss Hampton, I... Ah, you see what I mean? Creeping jazzism. We've got to do something about it. We are going to do something about it. Any comments? Meeting adjourned. Follow me. Little did these intelligent, alert, alive teenagers know the dire peril that was hanging over their heads as they engaged in the process of keeping up with current affairs. Welcome, folks, to the Pete Murray Show. And now, Terry Lightfoot and the band swing into Tavern in the Town.
back at the town hall. And now it's the turn of Kenny Ball and the band to play 1919 March. see TV or play the jukebox here, dance, anything. I don't get it. I do. This is a new town, right? Our mayor wants it nice and dignified. Mm. No rock and roll, no jazz. What do we do now? He's bound to have an idea, otherwise there's no picture. I know, but we'll have to get some disc jockeys to help us. Disc jockeys? Help us do what? Well, to bring a show to this town. A jazz show here? Yeah. yeah. But to do it, we'll have to go to the city. How? Where? What do you mean? Can you help us? Me? I'm just a simple narrator. All right. Hey. Crazy. Wow. OK? Thank you. Thanks. And so to TV Center, uh, to get a disc jockey, uh, to bring a jazz show to their town, to show the mayor that, uh, well, you'll see. We won't get him. We don't have any tickets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to our weekly show. Something old, something new, and first tonight, something new from Gene Vincent and a spaceship to Mars. Yeah, I want to get you on a spaceship to Mars and hug you and I squeeze you as they fly through the stars. But when I think of those light years, we can spend it on zoom through the atmosphere from zone to zone. Well, I tell you, honey, life can be sunny because we're mad. Spaceship to Mars I'll hug you and I'll squeeze you As we fly through the stars When we land on that planet Tell you what I'll do I'm gonna build a dream house That's meant for two Will I tell you, baby I don't mean, baby That you're mine, oh, mine Yeah, but the thought comes It makes me wanna scream To change our reading To a horrible dream Well, suppose the place is inhabited But then How could I keep away Those Martian men? Oh, so I wanna get you Spaceship to Mars and hug you when I squeeze you as we fly through the stars. When I think of those screaming, dreaming Martian guys, look at that, you honey, with those Martian eyes. Well, I love you so, you better not go and you'll be mine, all mine. Yeah, I want to get you on a studio. Of course, you mustn't mention any brand names. And the important thing to remember is that this is an entirely spontaneous and completely unrehearsed program. Right, give them their scripts. Now, let's assume that we've discussed the problem of the new African nations and we've brought in Professor Mitchell's book. Right. Uh, what do you think of Professor Mitchell's book? I think it muddles and befuddles the entire problem. It is sheer, absolute, utter rubbish. And how would you answer that criticism, Professor? I, I think we're in the wrong studio. And now, back to the Alan Freeman show. The initials BB could stand for Bridget Bardot, but tonight, they stand for Brook Brothers. Brook Brothers means two. Two means a double, and here are the Brook Brothers and Double Trouble. Fire burning, cold dream bubble. She's a dream when she's out on the floor. But Lindy Lou can cook a chicken stew like you never ever tasted before. Double trouble, I don't know what to do. Cause I'm in love with pretty little Lucy, but I'm not about Lindy Lou. I'm in love with pretty little Lucy, but I'm not about Lindy When I choose Double trouble I don't know what to do Cause I'm in love With pretty little Lucy But I'm out about Lindy Lou I'm in love With pretty little Lucy But I'm out about Lindy Lou You think this is it? Could be. Is it the Alan Freeman show? I don't think so. Look, I've already told you, you can't get an elephant through a door unless you grease it. Yeah, well, everybody else uses grease, don't they? Oh, dear. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? Look, there's a control room here. I wonder which show it is. They look very serious, I must say. The leg stump, well up to the batsman, and Dex has swept Cue Alan right Freeman. all the way to the boundary. Four runs. Ever yearn for the good old days, ladies and gentlemen? I guess you yearn for the good old music, too. We've got some on the programme tonight, so we're introducing the Temperance Seven. <laughs> Hello. 
Let's have a dream, a dream away, romance. Cut away from the razzmatazz. Let's have a dream, a dream away, romance. Get away from the blue jean beats. Allons voler à la lune. Mon amour te protège toute la nuit. Let's have a dream, a dream away. Never notice we've gone. Let's have a dream, a dream away romance. They'll never notice, oh, they'll never notice. They'll straight into the studio. Oh, yes. When the music finishes, we'll try and sneak past them. sometimes, and that was the Temperance Seven then with whispering Paul McDowell. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, a bit of jazz, and here's the Bob Waller story, Bill Jasmine, and Bellissima. Oh, 
I want to ask you if you'll appear at our jazz festival. I'm sorry, Joe. Will you sign my autograph book then? Sure. There you are. Uh, thank you. What are you giving it back to me for? Thank you very much. I promise to appear. Now. Oh, I wish I knew. Try looking up. No, on the wall. Why don't you try him? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Well, let's go. Well, they could at least have thanked me for the clothes. Oh, well. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And welcome from me, David Jacobs, to this very special performance here at the Cleek Club, a charity gala we have for you this evening. And we're really going to have a swinging time. We are going to swing off first with a gentleman whose good time used to be a quarter to three. But right now, any time's a good time to be with Gary, U.S. Bond. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, we don't serve during the act. where we add a little glamour to our show, I'd like to present and get a warm Click Club welcome for those three charming young ladies, the Paris Sisters.
Let's keep our hit paraders parading in front of you and introduce somebody who's currently having great success in the charts on both sides of the Atlantic. Ladies and gentlemen, Del Sharon. I went down to the railroad station, honey. Overheard a conversation, honey. You were talking to a guy named Jim and the things that you were telling him you talked and talked so endlessly tears filled my eyes i couldn't see cause you never talked about me To be loved by you, you talked and talked so endlessly, tears filled my eyes, I couldn't see, cause you never talked about a me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is uh, something of an occasion because, as far as I'm concerned, this is the first time I've ever had the pleasure of working pe with people like Gary Barnes and Del Shannon in Cabaret, but usually we hear them on gramophone records and see them in the concert hall. But right now, let's keep it swinging and meet the Dukes of Dixieland. <laughs> Thank you. 
ladies and gentlemen, Jean McDaniels. Now and then I see you passing by And for a while I don't begin to cry But just when I think I'm all cried out Another tear falls Another tear falls And then I I go with someone new I tell myself I've gotten over you But just when I think I'm all cried out Another tear falls anything, thank you. We'd just like to speak to Mr. Jacobs. I think we ought to find out about these people here this evening. They all look as though they're having a good time. Let's just make absolutely sure that they are. Excuse me, do you have any inhibitions? Any what? Ah, well, whether she has any or not, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, you're going to now find a gentleman who's going to teach you how to lose them completely with the lose your inhibition twist, Mr. Chubby Checker. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, now, it's just a bit... Make that break! Hey, girl! Let's whirl! But, but 
you don't understand. Baby, it's because I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Go on. I throw away your ego. Cause I insist that you give an exhibition. Live a brand new mission. Lose your competition. Let's do the shake your intuition. Break your opposition. Lose your intuition. Twist. I didn't know we'd have so much trouble just getting a disc jockey. Well, we'd better get the next one. He's our last hope. Uh, 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 um. mm -mm. Hello. See those doors? They're closed. And they're going to stay closed for anyone who doesn't have a ticket. But how can we get tickets? What? For this show? You'll be lucky. They're handed out by the performers themselves. Fan clubs. We don't belong to any fan clubs. Then you won't get in. Who's on next week's show? Mr. Ackerbilk. Ackerbilk. Are recording studios, barred to all but highly skilled technical personnel. Oh, John Layton. city, what a sad
Try the next floor down. Change, I suppose. Hey, don't you know you're not allowed in the recording studio when the lights on, man? Well, we don't really work here, you know. We just wanted to ask you for some tickets for the trad show next week. Why? So we can get a disc jockey. Disc jockey? Yeah. What do you want one of those for? Well, you see, there's this mayor in our town. Show? Yeah, sure. Twelve, please. Twelve. Oh, yeah. Tickets, please. You can't go in without tickets. Probably forged. Can't you do something about this character? Thank you. Pleasure. Tickets, please. Quiet, everybody. Quiet! Cupid Murray. And now, the man you've been waiting for, Mr. Acker Bilk. Frankie and Johnny, they were lovers. Oh, how that girl loved that guy, yeah. One day, a brand new female girl, she gave Frankie's guy in the eye. He was her man. But he done her wrong, yeah. Frankie, she was flabbergasted because she got a big gun from the wall. Hunted and tracked her Johnny down. And rat ta 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 that was all. He was her man. Lordy, how he done her wrong. Well, the sheriff took Frankie to the jailhouse. He said, let that girl go free. John was a no good, low down skunk. He was rotten. If she wants a good man, there's me. I'll be her man. And I won't do her no wrong. Well, Frankie and Josie, they got married. Yeah. Now she's got a big house and a car. Their children all 
Thank you, Acker Bilk. And now, once again, this is where we get the studio audience to get up and dance again as Bob Wallace and the Storyville jazz men play Auntie Flo. And I have a sneaking feeling that Auntie Flo might win. Uh, play, fellas. <laughs> Undignified. So we figured if we could get hold of some big disc jockeys, they'd bring down some bands and we could put on a big show. And prove to him and everyone else that it's great music. And not at all what they think it is. Yeah, but it doesn't work quite like that. You know, bands won't appear for nothing unless it's for a worthy cause. But this is a worthy cause to us. Well, I'll tell you what, you leave it to me for a while. I'll see what I can do. You don't really wear this, do you? Now, oh, come on, pack it. You know, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. Yes, but can we convince the mayor to let us do it? No, well, we could try. If we flatter him, he might give in. You know, I don't think it'd be bad publicity for jazz, and uh, well, come to think of it, it can't be bad for us either. Right, count me in. Good. Can I have it? So they got permission from the mayor to do a TV show from the town square. And they're bringing right. down three great bands. And you wait till the mayor finds out it's a jazz show. I just found out it's a jazz show. <laughs> We have all the other roads to town blocked. So their band bus will have to take this one. And with all the trucks we've laid along here, they'll never get through. There'll be no jazz show in this town. Will there? No. Shouldn't the bands have been here by now? The program isn't due on the air till night. I wonder where they can be. Pack bus approaching barrier D. Message received. Well, here they come, chaps. Uh, carry on, Sergeant. Right, sir. Right, mate. Take the top band. Right, sir. Right, 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 something to hold them. Let me have a go. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody, we have a big show coming up in just a few minutes, but meanwhile, how about listening to some local talent? Come on. Rainbows, rainbows, rainbows in your tears. When the one you loved has gone, and you're left alone to count the cost, when 
and your Mr. Right proved wrong. And it's plain to see you've loved and lost. Just remember, even gray sky clears when the sun appears. There'll be rainbows in your tears. I was 16 when I fell And since then my life tastes bittersweet And I've waited through the lonely years Hoping she appears to put rainbows in my tears And so the police set about constructing an impassable barrier. Back at the town centre, unaware of the plans of the police. Come on, Helen, what about a number? Come on, Come on, let's talk. 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 Let's tal
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, Good evening, evening, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and, gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to our show. Now, uh, I am the director of this program, and I just want to tell you that we've got a great show lined up for you when it arrives. In the meantime, uh, I'd like you to listen to someone who's been entertaining the vast crowd here, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy listening to her. So, take it away!
show me. No, no, give it to me. Give it to him. He's the oldest. Oh, true, true. <clears throat> me? Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, and welcome, welcome to the show tonight. tonight. We're broadcasting from the town of Dan Trav. You've just heard from Teddy Lightfoot's orchestra. And now it's over to Kenny Ball's Jazz Man. <laughs> If Bill Street could talk, married men would have to take their beds and walk. Except one or two, never drink booze. And the byman on the corner singing Bill Street blues. I'd rather be there than any place I know. Well, I'd rather be there than any place I know. Well, it's gonna take the sergeant for the man. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, I'm gonna lay 
down my burden down by that riverside gonna study war no more how i ain't gonna study war no more study war no more i ain't gonna study war no more down by that riverside gonna lay my burden down ain't gonna study war no more Until after the finale. Bring it in. 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 Everybody's having a ball. Bring it in. Bring it in. All those girls there to be kissed.
Shall we start a crazy romance? 